Hey everybody, Rich here in Denver, getting set to head over to the stadium to call the night game between the Broncos and the Patriots with Kurt Warner. I just wanted to jump in here and talk about the Cleveland Browns. This has been a remarkable story. To see this team go through four quarterbacks, to see Deshaun Watson start and then go down and then come back and then go down, to see Nick Chubb get his knee blown up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and then have this kid Ford and Kareem Hunt come off the couch and keep this run game going, to see Amari Cooper and this passing game look the way that it looks right now with Joe Flacco coming off the couch. I, I'm so serious, I'm taking my glasses off. I don't know what to make of this story that Joe Flacco is sitting at home for three months and the Browns decide to go get him off the couch and stick him in an offense for Deshaun Watson, then P.J. Walker and Dorian Thompson Robinson. And those are three quarterbacks that can run and throw. That's not what Flacco does. So why bring him off the couch and think that you're going to be successful or let alone use him? And not only do they use him, not only is he successful, this guy is unstoppable. And this passing game looks unlike anything we've seen the Cleveland Browns have in a very long time. If I know, look, and I know we broke Josh Gordon's record today. So you have seen a passing day and a receiving day like the one that Cooper had today. But Joe Flacco could easily be the comeback player of the year if Geno Smith won it last year for coming back from lack of opportunities or from the bench. Flacco's coming off the couch and keeping the Browns not only winning, but playoff ready and playoff tested and playoff dangerous with the way that their defense plays. If this offense puts up three scores, four scores, how are you going to get that much off the Browns defense? You're not going to. And you could make a case if this keeps going. If the Browns wind up with 12 wins, they're going to get their 11th against the Jets on Thursday night. With all due respect. And then they can finish up this season by taking care of, you know, Jake Browning and the Bengals. If this team winds up with 12 wins, how is Kevin Stefanski not coach of the year? How is he not coach of the year right now with four quarterbacks, multiple running backs, and Joe Flacco doing what he is doing with this passing game? David Njoku is one of the most dangerous tight ends now in the NFL. I had Amari Cooper, as you know, anybody who's been watching the show or go on our YouTube page, we had him on Thursday. I said to him, why not you? Are you guys talking about why not you in the locker room? And his answer was, absolutely, we're talking about why not us. So you're, you're going to even see Flacco get MVP votes. I know I'm, I, I'm, I might be talking crazy right now because he's only played basically a third of a season. But this team with this defense – and an offense that looks like this right now, with the run game supported by a passing game like this right now, receivers, tight ends, running backs out of the backfield with Flacco winging it around and looking like he's 23 again. This is a very dangerous team. Who the hell is going to want the Cleveland Browns coming in the AFC South winner in the first week? And then the Ravens potentially is the one seed. Want to see the Browns walk in there with Flacco in the divisional round? These things are real, people. And I had to just take a minute before I change into my gear for, for calling this game to just let everyone know, this team is real. This is very real. And for Flacco, the Super Bowl MVP of the Ravens, to be doing this for the Browns and having an opportunity to be a five seed, going into a one seed's building in a divisional round, and that one seed being the Ravens? We're talking about Stafford returning to Detroit for a wild card weekend game and how wild that would be. How wild would Flacco and the Browns in Baltimore be? This is in the ether. This is real. And I just wanted to say that.
All right. We'll see you from Denver tonight. I mean, holy smokes.